Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of The Outer Worlds. Today is episode number seven, and we are here at this place. I don't know what it is. I can't remember what happened last episode. Uh, who? If you're living up in a tower on a place called Devil's Peak, you might be some type of serial. What do you want? This station's under the protection of the corporate compliance crew. You a marauder? Cause me and my sunshine, that's my gun if you were wondering, we don't take kindly to marauders. We're not. Hmm. Reckon that sounded far too coherent for a marauder. That's good. Otherwise I'd have to kill you. Oh. You're clear. But I would caution you against pressing on ahead. This station's plumb crawling with marauders, you know. I take it you ain't met the other C3s. What C3s? Me and Sunshine are doing exactly what we've been tasked with. You want more details? You ought to talk to my crew. They're guarding a small barracks to the southeast, by the edge of the mountain. Uh, I'm off. Actually, can I ask for help? You're bothering me. I gotta keep an eye on the area. Sans distractions. Quit bothering me. Need I something? gotta keep an eye on the area. Talk to George. Sans distractions. And for the love of space, don't rile the marauders. Well, looks like we're doing this on our own now. Uh, we got flamethrower. What's this gun? Uh, looks like we're going in with a flamethrower for now. Burn! Burn, baby, burn. This does so much damage against enemies. Spaces choice found a flaw in you, robophobia. Auto mechanicals now give you the willies. And when they're attacking your party, you're not as effective as you should be. No thanks. I don't really like the flaws. I mean, I know they're designed to make the game more interesting. Um, but I just... Hiram must I'm not a great fan of it. He's... He spooks easy. <sighs> Featuring real monsters from the doomed world. Okay. When your inhaler finishes off a stack of consumables, it will automatically reload itself with another type. Ooh, interesting. Oh, that was loads of light ammo then on that guy. Where is the other guy that I killed? Here he is. Here's the elevator. Okay, that's sealed. I ain't gonna budge while this place is on lockdown. Guess we keep moving forward. Look for another way up. Energy drink. Nice. There's got to be some good stuff in here. Weapon parts, bit cartridge, that's good. 
Uh, oh. The light pistol mark two. So that's actually a huge improvement on what we currently have. Elite troop armor. I'm guessing that's good. Oh, we got more stuff here. Energy cells in there. Bit cartridge. Emergency sirens will make your ears bleed. Nice to know. Um, let's take a look at this light pistol mark two. 320 DPS. That's a lot of damage, actually. It looks like we're going to have to swap them out. Nice new pistol. Alright, let's carry on. could use the socialization you son of a bitch <laughs> also he hired me to what purpose i happen to have some significant problems i am dealing with right now marauders running out of purple berry wine three days ago not being able to bloody broadcast no 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 we'll deal with information related business later as i said there are bigger problems threatening my life and livelihood at this very moment the Marauders want me dead, and since my hired hands have clearly turned to idle, it appears I need you to clear out the threat. As my newest contractor, you may call me the Broker. Or we can call you Hiram, on account of that's your damn name, and doubly on the account of the Broker being a dumbass alternative. What? Everyone calls me that, aside from you. <laughs> Okay, broker. I barricaded the broadcast center, but I can only hold out for so long. Clear the marauders out, and I'll pay you double the going rate. They destroy the transmission equipment, and I'll be out of business. The elevator and doors to the second floor are back online. Hurry before I have to lock them down again. Where? No. Where's the elevator? Am I just being stupid? Did I miss it? Is that it? That's a bathroom. Where is the bloody elevator? How's oh, that it? Ah! Okay, there's nothing this way. Uh, what's in here? Ah, light ammo. That's good. Sentry Saber Mark II, nice. No, we're not talking now. Not now. Uh, there's nothing on that Marauder. Uh, let's take a quick look, see what loot we can get. Uh, 
Uh, there's nothing in that bin. Uh, mag pick are very useful in this game um, because they're used for. They're basically lock picks, but you need to use lock picks with other stuff to also get stuff. What is this? Purple berry fizzy tea. Oh, we got loads of loot here. Uh, mag pick, bit cartridges. What's in here? Uh, is that weapon parts? Oh, armor parts. Uh, I still don't know what they're actually used for. Oh, I hope there's good loot in here. No, it's terrible. Right, there's more people up here. I think isn't a very good answer to that. Uh, he's glitching out. And I can't get his ammo. Or anything. Hello, Hiram. I'm taking all your stuff. It says pick up, which means it's not stealing, which means it's mine. Any more stuff? What on earth are these things? Oh, a safe. That would be good. Um, I don't actually know how to get stuff. The other thing for the safes. Uh, Trip Blade Mark II. What's a Trip Blade? Never thought I'd be ecstatic at having the walls painted in blood, but seeing as it's not mine, I'd say this calls for a celebration. Yes. This ought to square our debt. One hefty payment for a highly valued service rendered. But, I admit, I do wonder why Nioka has brought you to me. Allow me to pose my question in another manner. Why? In the nebula, are you here? Ah, yes, our little chat on the intercom. You're looking for the premier broker for all of Monarch, which you knew was me, clearly. Phineas must have sent you. He's the only one insane enough to send someone to Monarch to rush me. I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a knocking. Look, I might be late. But I fulfill my contracts, always. Oh, you do, do you? I have lost track of the number of beers you owe me for chasing raptodons off your stoop. <laughs> have you seen Doc Wells? The guy's ancient. You take any more time and he's liable to croak. I take offense to that. Look, okay. Just, it might take me a while this time. Why is that? I'm awaiting but a single incoming transmission containing the information we desire. But MSI and the Iconoclasts are clogging the airwaves from Stellar Bay and Amber Heights. In their war against each other, they're scrambling each other's outgoing transmissions. Exactly what I was thinking. They hurt us all with their pettiness. Which of course has inadvertently affected the incoming port and my livelihood. Uh, can we cut them off from inside the station? No, they're jamming the limited frequencies we have at our disposal. Nothing extra planetary can get in or out until the frequency pollution thins out. The safest bet is to convince Graham and Sanjar to stop transmitting on their end. You do 
that, I'll be here waiting on the receiving end. Luck be with you. I have a feeling you'll be needing a pinch of it, plus a vat of patience. Nioka, pick me up some stimulation lotion and a bottle of purple berry wine when you're next in Stellar Bay. Okay, all right, um, we can run out of this door. Burbage 2000 and Burbage 3000. Blood and revenge are hammering in his head. Titus Androidicus. A new original masterpiece. Uh, do we have any form of loot out here? Yes, we do. Always accepting of light ammo. Uh, how do we get down, though, is the question. We just jump down here. <laughs> Bit cartridges. I never noticed those before. Um, where is this we're going to? Uh, does Graham have a fast travel point? No, he does not. But this is the closest place we can fast travel to. Auntie Cleo's better than nature. Sha 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 sha. Sing la 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 la. Right. Um. Okay, so we are going this way. We're gonna go kill some people too. Yeah, now that was fun. That was amazing in slow motion. I'm going to have to do that again. I'm going to have to jump on the next person I see. I don't know why, but I seem to do this thing that I've always done in games where I sort of quick aim. Everyone all right? Where I go like this and I sort of like... And it's almost like slightly less hip fire. And it always works. I do it most in Siege when I'm using pistols. It's ridiculous the amount of times that I use pistols and I go like duh, 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 to shoot. Transition to Amber Heights. Honestly, a bit like Fallout. I am a little bit confused on the story. It's slightly confusing me. But it's not like, oh my gosh, I can't do this confusing. It's just like, oh, I'll just play the game and enjoy it. Because I'm enjoying it, but the story is sort of like... What is actually the goal? I'm not 100% sure at the moment. Well, hello, and welcome to the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please take a pamphlet. 
In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophous truths, and the iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting we're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. <laughs> you offer me a pamphlet so you don't sorry. have? It's a habit, I suppose. We used to have plenty, but we ran out of paper and ink. Ever since the corporations left, it's been hard to come by the basics. But you know what we do have? Freedom! This is the only place in Halcyon you'll find it. No corporations, really? no shackles, no problems. What about Raptodons on Marauders? Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as they come. Uh, no, they're us, not hurdles. So long as you can earn your keep. Um... One big happy family. That's a nice way to think about it. No. Graham would be our father. I suppose Zora might make a good mother if the two of them could stop arguing. You can think of those two as our leaders, but they're more like examples. We all ought to be more like them. No. Not at all. I'll see you around. I don't want anything to do with you. Weirdo. I ought to mention, the Iconoclasts are loyal folk. Treat them right, they'll do the same. Turn on them, they'll open fire without a second thought. This place wasn't half so pretty in the cereals. Okay, so you can steal all this crap. A manta queen. Yeah, we felled it, mind. But we lost two runners and five gun hands. A total failure, then. So much for the ruins. And hell only knows where the Van Oys are. They never showed. I'm sure they're... Ah, let's talk later. It seems we have company. Hello. Oh. Ah, yes. The first step to accepting the truths of philosophism is to open your heart to its wisdom. I've found the written word to be quite effective in helping people do that. But alas, the eternal truth hasn't been generous with the paper and ink. Now, why have you come? Stop. No. Spreading the truth is the only way to combat the board's poisonous campaign of propaganda against their people. I realize the board has blockaded our efforts, but Devil's Peak is an interplanetary radio tower. Surely somebody is listening. Surely. <laughs> it's not that it's not getting out, it's that the people who hear it don't care. Graham, we should be focusing on survival anyway. Food, ammo, and medicine. Maybe now is the time to pivot. Pivot, huh? If radio isn't working, we might try another way. It seems the captain's timing is more than just serendipitous. It must be fate. I've had my sights on an old printing press for some time. The board uses magazines and advertisements to subtly focus the colony's attention. We will use their tricks against them. Wait, that's not what I meant. Yeah. Help me clear out and repair the press, and I will have no need for that rust bucket of a radio tower. Sounds fair to me. Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... Wait, where is Huxley? It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges? Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. <laughs> I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. Hmm. Why, hello. 
Um, where is it we need to go first? I think the only marker is over this way, yeah. Uh, Carlotta. Um, right. We need to go and find Carlotta. Let's go. Try and cut across here. Got some ammo, and I saw this on here. What are these shunts? I don't know what these shunts are for. Oh, some armor parts. That's good. What on earth was that? Okay, I'm suffering, uh, I think that was bleeding damage. Um, what I need to do is drop some stuff. Trip blade, get rid of. Plasma launcher, get rid of. There we go. Um, There we go. Uh, where is she at now? Over here. Niles. Excuse me, but this area is off limits. We got a leaky generator. It ain't safe. That's my nice way of telling you to sod off. Sod off. We're fixing a leaky generator. What's it to you? Right. Carlotta. Yeah, she's inside. We got first rights, though. Soon as we fix that generator, she's ours. You'd have to ask the boss. I just know she wants Carlotta voided. And I'm just gonna let you walk on in? Why's that now? Oh, how many bits do we have? Can't even check how many bits I've got. All right, you're gonna sod off already. No one tells me to sod off. Looks like we're doing this. We're the best to ever. What? Nice hit. Restricted area requires ID. Uh, 
I don't believe this area to be restricted. I think you're trying to wind me up. Hello? Relax. I've been cooped up in here for almost two days. Who are you anyway? Awesome. Finally. <laughs> Tell Graham that this is the last run I'm doing. Sondra has declared a stop sale to you lot, but even if he hadn't, I'm not risking my neck anymore. Fair enough. What's up? Thanks for clearing out those goons. Please don't kill me next. Graham ordered rollers and wetsits, right? For a printing press? Here, take them. Like I said, this is my last run. Fair enough. It's an enviable thing he's doing. Free people and all that. I can't live that way. I need my structure. But I respect the iconoclasts for doing it. Law help them. I don't know. Maybe Sublight can lend a hand. I should go. Look, Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send one last dropout before I wash my hands of this. What do you want delivered? Uh, I think we should go for extra food and medicine. I took that woman for the sensible type. Good on her. I'll send some along. Give them all my regards. And good luck out there. Don't go getting eaten. I try not to. Uh, let's see what we can pick up from here. I need to talk to you, Captain. Fine, what do you want? Uh, let me just finish looting. Plasma carbine? What is that? Uh, we got a vendor here. Uh, let's go here and sell a couple of things. Actually, I don't need to sell anything. Uh, let's go double check our inventory. Heavy machine gun, 400 DPS. There we go, that looks good. And that will use up some of our heavy ammo as well. What would you like to talk about? Hey, got a favor to ask you. Oh, what do you want? Figure while we're out here in the wilderness anyhow, we might stop in on an old friend of mine. Preferably before we get to Hiram's. It's on the way, don't worry. You don't seem the type to run off and get yourself killed, and I could use the help. Hey, it ain't easy for me to spill my guts like a cut-up raft, all right? <laughs> I'll be up front with you. I hate asking for help. I hate it. Every time I give someone the opportunity to disappoint me, they seem to make it their most immediate goal. But this, what I'm thinking, it's dangerous. What can I do? Really? Here I was stealing myself for inevitable rejection. I used to run with a band of hunters, friends, six of us. We were on Monarch when the corporations pulled out and we helped a lot of people pick up the pieces. I haven't seen two of them in years. And the rest I know to be dead. I'd like to gather their effects and bury them all in the same places, like the family we once were. I saw it happen. Hell, one of them was in my arms at the time. Shit. His name was Hayes, and he's our first stop. I buried him away from our encampment. I'll show you where he rests. He had a medallion in his effects. 
That's what I'll bring home to Barry. Then we find my two lost trackers and bring them home. A long time ago, we built an encampment in one of Monarch's oh, cave systems. Oh, Trouble is, a mana queen showed up and kicked us all out. If we can find Rebecca and Anders, they'll know how to lure her out. Then we kill the bitch and bury everyone's medallions together. Okay, let's go. Um, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. Let's just take a look, see what loot we can get out of here. But, um... We're over encumbered again. Nice. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And if you want to help support the channel, then hit that join button. It would mean the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.